Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to give a big old shout out to all the Virgos out there. Very, very happy birthday to you. We are officially in Virgo season as far as Western astrology is concerned. And I want to give a shout out to the September Libras. Yes, very happy birthday to you guys as well. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like to look into your own personal situation please go ahead and email me all the information is in the description box below yeah so for those of you that are new I want to give you a little bit of insight as to these readings on my channel these are not really specific to anything obviously we are doing this by sign but this is not love or career specific okay this is you could think of this as just the the messages that spirit has for you uh, having a conversation or a discussion with spirit about what is going on in your life at this time also keep in mind that just because these are dated for september of 2019 these readings are meant to be timeless yeah so whenever this resonates for you if it's in september if it's after september of 2019 please just take that message if it resonates for you at that time then that's the message for you at this time i i am speaking to the zodiac sign in question here but as a cross watcher you know this could be something that resonates for you as well if you are watching for someone uh, if you're cross watching for someone yeah I would love it if you guys would follow me if you're not already doing so on Instagram you can find me at divine underscore conversations you can also find me on Facebook at uh, facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711 if you would like to book a personal reading with me please just email me um, Instagram would be a good uh, other another option you know to to choose um, but Facebook is not a good option. Like I, I even mentioned this in my video last month. Um, I rarely check my Facebook messages. I don't always get them right away also. So if you're trying to get a reading with me, the best bet is to just find my email address in the description box below and email me there. I also have all of the readings that I offer and their prices and descriptions listed in the description box below. So if you would like a reading, please read through that and then email me. Again, Instagram is a good alternative, but that always isn't the most reliable, okay? The, your best bet, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, is to just email me, okay? With that said, I guess we're ready, so let's get to it. <laughs> Hello there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for September 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Just a quick note, you may hear some voices, commotion, some music in the background. Don't worry, that's just my neighbors and my roommates enjoying themselves, living their best lives here on this beautiful Saturday. Um, and you guys, you and Cancer are very lucky because the rest of the Zodiac signs were recorded throughout the week and they are doing construction on the building across the street from us um they're still in the demolition phase and that gets pretty noisy but you guys don't get any of that you get nice beautiful ambient music yes if you can even hear it um, so anyway all right getting <laughs> getting into your pre-shuffle energies leo um it i was as i was channeling your energy i was seeing very strong green color like it was it was very prominent it kept coming through and that was leading me to your heart chakra um, and i was hearing um love care compassion okay um and then the nine of swords came out and it came out in reverse right so um what i was hearing with that was grief and i was hearing a release from grief i'm like oh all right that's fantastic and they were the spirit was continuing to say a release from grief through the process of understanding yourself better and um loving yourself basically loving yourself more and then none other than the hermit came out with the ace of wands okay so it, i feel like leo you are in a place right now where um your understanding yourself, your understanding of yourself has gotten much greater. And because of that, there is a deeper appreciation that you're feeling for yourself, which is allowing you to be inspired to move in a new direction, to uh, get creative again, maybe if you've been stagnant in that way. This Ace of Wands could be a new creative project, a new inspiration. The Ace of Wands to me can be very much like the tower energy in the sense that it's like a spark of inspiration that kind of just comes out of nowhere. Um, but for, for you, mostly what I'm feeling here is this is an energy of you just being inspired to live your life to the fullest. Maybe again or 
um, maybe in a new way, maybe, maybe you've never felt that way before and now you're like, you're really inspired to just do you which is beautiful, Leo. And then you have the Three of Pentacles underneath the deck. The Three of Pentacles is self-mastery. I really do feel like many of you have reached a level of self-mastery that um, has been previously unrealized. And maybe this is a level of self-mastery that you've never even gotten to in past lives. Eight of Cups, yep. Look at that. I just bent my card, but anyway. <laughs> The Eight of Cups, walking away from something underneath the deck. Yeah, the Six of Swords, leaving the past behind you, leaving everything, all of the burdens. For some of you, this is, um, you've been very much, you've been extremely loyal to like family or friends or a, a career trajectory, a job, a business, whatever. There's been, there's a, a strong sense of loyalty, but that was detrimental to you in some way. And now you're leaving, you're leaving all of that behind all of that behind, all right? It could even be uh, as, I guess, I wanna say minuscule, but, it, but it, there is nothing minuscule about this, but it could even be something, okay, it could even be something like a belief system, thoughts about yourself, you know, and that in no way is minuscule because, you know, our thoughts and our beliefs help to shape our reality. But I feel like you're, you're walking away from all of those things that kept holding you back in the past. That's awesome. That is so awesome, Leo. Congratulations, all right? Especially after coming out, we're, we just came out of Leo season. Actually, in Vedic astrology, today is August 31st, the day that I'm, I'm recording this. Um, and I think in Vedic astrology, we're, st we're actually still in Leo season. Yes. Okay, so if you resonate with that, then... Um, we are in, in fact still in Leo season if you resonate with Vedic or Eastern or sidereal astrology, Hindu astrology. Um, in Western we're now in Virgo season so I'm, I, I feel like for the majority of you you're all going to resonate with the Western system and in that case we are in Virgo season and I do feel like Leo season was great for you to gain some sort of confidence back, all right? Beautiful, Leo. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get into the rest of your reading here and see what we've got for you for the month of September. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Leos, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of September 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Leo, we are giving this five shuffles and then we'll see what we have for you. All right? For my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. Uh, I'm seeing yellow. I'm also seeing per, uh, uh, well, I am seeing purple, but I'm also seeing orange. Action oriented, I'm hearing. Taking a leap of faith almost for some of you. Shuffle number three. Um, a balance between masculine and feminine energy or a balance between your willpower and your emotions that are really driving you forward. Beautiful, Leo. Four. For my Leos, sun, moon, rising, and Venus for the month of September 2019. Best messages, please. And five. All right, Leo. We're going to cut the deck. All right. Overall energy for you, Leo. <laughs> yes. The chariot. Boop, 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 boop. All right. So this is Cancerian energy. Um, and actually, I'm, I, I, I feel like you might want to watch the Cancer video because that might resonate with you. Some of you might be Leo Cancer Cusper. Some of you might have cancer in your chart. Um, also, some of you may be connecting with a cancer. If that's what you're if that's what you're feeling if that resonates with you but this is you absolutely feeling confident secure knowing who it is that you are on a deeper level be having a balance having a balance between in your emotions yes but in between the masculine and feminine energies within you um, which is allowing you to drive forward swiftly confidently nothing is going to hold you back any longer at least the same things that may have held you back in the past they hold no weight with you any longer. You are 
you release that from yourself. That's beautiful, Leo. Oh my God, yes. Underneath the chariot, you do have the ace of swords. Truth, clarity, honesty. This really is an energy of you knowing exactly who you are. Exactly who you are. Now take that phrase with a grain of salt because we are multidimensional beings and there will always be more to discover about yourself. But in this moment in time, you are very confident. You know who you are, what it is you stand for, and what it is you want out of life. And I really feel like you're not in an energy to ever let anybody stand in your way ever again. Okay, beautiful. Underneath the Ace of Swords, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Yo, this is great, Leo, because now the universe is conspiring, you're, you're, you're conspiring with you to, to bring you what you want. It's like, it's literally like the universe is saying to you, oh word, oh you confident, like you, you, you got it like that? I right, cool, I'm gonna add to it for you. Ballin', yo. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Leo's got it going on right now, y'all. Mm. Okay, underneath the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, holy moly, you have the Eight of Swords, though. So crazy. You really might want to, wow, you really might want to watch the Cancer video because the Cancer got the Eight of Swords in their overall energy as well. And, they, and Cancer is in a very similar energy where you're just like confident. You know what it is you want. You're coming out of some really nasty, maybe narcissistic, tough stuff. And yet you still have a little bit of this residual energy, this Eight of Swords here. And it's so crazy because you came out in the Cancer video also because the strength, strength came out and then the King of Wands was in the um, overall, it was in the pre-shuffle energies. So it seems that even though you may have all this confidence here or all this understanding, being very sure of yourself even is what I'm hearing, there is still some sort of residual energy that might be trying to hold you back. Now also, this could be you with this Eight of Swords. This could be you trying to keep your mind a little bit in check. Okay, that makes sense. Not trying to really run amok. Just trying to stay focused balanced mentally just be just be careful to not confine yourself too much like i get it if you want to just like you know make sure you're keeping your mind in check but don't overly check yourself i feel like there is a fine line between being mentally in check and overly critical of yourself or maybe even your surroundings okay leo just keep that in mind this really does, it feels kind of minor, and yet there's still a caution. Same, the same with cancer. There's still a caution. Don't let your need for mental balance go overboard, I guess. Okay. Getting into the rest of your reading here, Leo. First half, second half. You can look at this as the first half, second half of your month. I recommend that you look at it as the first half, second half of the reading because time is an illusion and energies are fluid and these messages are just gonna be intertwining all willy-nilly left and right. But you do, sorry, I just wanted to, okay. You do what is best for you. So if it does resonate as first half, second half of your month, please, by all means, take it. All right, first set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Leo, you have, there you go. There's that Ace of Wands again. And oh, the other thing I wanted to say, it's so crazy how connected the, all of these readings are because as I do these readings for the monthly Zodiac, the monthly Zodiac readings, I've, I, I've learned to get myself in a position where I like, I block off the last week of the month to work through all of these readings. And I try to do it like three readings in a day, right? So 12 readings, that'll take me about four days. But in each chunk of these readings, they all seem to be intertwined with each other. And you guys watch me shuffle while I'm doing the reading for you. And in between the readings, I, I, I do a, a, like a cleansing shuffle in between the zodiac signs just to make sure I'm giving myself the best opportunity to not get repeat messages and yet they keep coming back. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. But anyway, Ace of Wands for you, Leo. Uh, inspiration. 
desire to achieve, desire to achieve something new, moving in a brand new direction. Especially with this Ace of Swords, there is a deeper understanding of yourself, what you believe in, what you stand for, and what you actually want out of life. And now you have that drive and desire to go after it. Beautiful, beautiful. Ace of Wands is coupled with Okay, the Five of Cups. Now this is not a bad thing because what I'm hearing is that the, the, uh, the regrets, the shames, the, the guilt, the, 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 the pain, the, the mournful energy from the past is what's inspiring to you to move forward. It's like this, th whatever, yeah, this is absolutely fertilizer. Whatever this Five of Cups energy represents for you, this is absolutely fertilizer for you for the, for the next phase in your life or what it is you truly wish to, 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 to grow, to achieve, to harvest. That's beautiful, Leo. That's quite poetic, I would say. Second set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Leo, you have the Nine of Pentacles. Ah, independent, secure, self-sufficient. This is also abundance and it is rewards for hard work well done, okay? And that a, lot, a lot of that work has been internal. Understanding yourself, healing, cleansing, releasing yourself of old patterns, old beliefs, old attachments. And it looks like you've been very, very successful at this. Nine of Pentacles is coupled with, okay, the Page of Pentacles. Starting on a new journey, starting on a new path. This is absolutely a level up. And here you have an individual, potentially someone coming forward to bring you that last pentacle to complete your 10. Now also this could be you completing your own 10, okay? That's beautiful. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Leo, you have, okay, the hanged man, enlightenment. And what I'm getting, it's very similar to what Cancer got. I'm getting allow your past to teach you. What have you learned from the past? What new perspective have you gained from the past? For some of you, this is about changing your perspective. Indeed. What does that mean for you though, Leo? I feel something on the fringes there. I just can't quite pick it out and I don't want to pull the next card yet. I want to see if I can pick out what this, what is this? There's, I'm, I'm hearing there's a change in focus. This new alignment within you is allowing you the opportunity to see something differently. And this might be your career. For some of you, this could be some of the things that you were passionate about in the past, you may not be passionate about anymore. It doesn't mean you're not passionate at all. It just means that you're changing, you're growing. So there is a need to see, I really do feel like this is career related or maybe like creatively related, maybe hobby related, something like that. I'm hearing your challenge here is to see the bigger picture in all of this. Okay, the, the, the hanged man is coupled with the seven of wands. Wow, all right, so what I'm picking up on here is some of you are letting go of some things that you no longer resonate with that you once did in the past, right? And so your challenge here is to maintain, yes, your challenge here for some of you is to maintain the change in perspective that you have acquired. Do not allow anyone to sway you from this. That, yes, that's why in the, why, why the message in the beginning of this was, uh, in the beginning of, while I was, when I just got to the challenge here, the, the message was, remember what you have learned. Remember what you have been through. Remember, keep in mind the enlightenment, the, the, the change in perspective that you now have. Do not allow anyone to sway you from your newfound sense of Assurance is what I'm hearing. Your newfound sense of individuality, your newfound sense of autonomy, of independence, of sovereignty even with this Nine of Pentacles energy, yes? <clears throat> oh, sorry guys, excuse me. I've been having some allergy issues lately. Okay, closing message or potential outcome here for you, Leo. Two of Swords, indecisiveness. Very interesting. But this is connecting to this energy here. Some of you are facing a major change 
in your direction in life. And at your core, you feel good about it. And yet you're still a little bit conflicted. Still a bit conflicted, like you're not quite sure. For others of you, you're not quite show, sure of where to go next. Okay. Two of swords is coupled with. Ha <laughs> ha! You, the sun. Here you are, Leo. This is your energy. The sun rules, Leo. If you're in a position right now, Leo, in which you know you're moving in a different direction, in a new direction, but you can't quite see what that is, the universe says, hold on tight to me because everything's going to be okay. We'll show you when the time is right. You'll know. Don't worry about this. If you're feeling somewhat indecisive right now, don't worry about it. Allow yourself to revel in this newfound sense of security and autonomy that you have acquired, main, uh, that you have, ooh, I wanted to say maintained. For some of you, you've been, main, you've been maintaining this energy quite well for some time and you haven't really realized it. Well, maybe it's time you should. So maybe for some of you, this inability to see which, which way to go is stopping you because you need to recognize how you, how, just how solid and secure and stable you are. You need to fully recognize how much of an independent individual you really have become. You need to see that for what it truly is before you can start to make moves on your next journey because there is a, a level of confidence that will come with that that will aid you as you move forward. There it is. That's what the indecisiveness is. Okay, I get it. Spirit is saying, realize your power, recognize your power, realize who you truly are, Leo, because you have some insane skill that the world is really in need of right now. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I am totally resonating with that. I have Leo in both my Eastern chart and Western chart. In the Western chart, I'm a Leo moon. In my Eastern chart, I'm a Leo rising. And I have been in an, air, in an energy in which it's like, okay, I know I wanna move in a different direction, but I feel like there are some things that would hold me back. I have a brand new perspective here and I need to keep my boundaries up to make sure I'm not letting one infiltrate the newfound sense of individuality that I've come to. I'm totally resonating with this right now. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. Getting into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Leo. You have, ooh, look at that, the moon. You have the sun and you have the moon, all right? So you have double Cancerian energy also because technically in the tarot, the, 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 the moon represents Pisces as well as the hanged man. But in astrology, the moon rules Cancer, okay? Interesting. The moon here is representing revelation for you, Leo. Things that have been uh, 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 hidden are in the process of becoming uncovered. The moon is coupled with, yeah, the eight of wands. Okay. There could be, ooh, well. There could be communication surrounding feelings someone may have. Either you may be connect communicating this or they may be communicating this. Interesting. Emotion, because yes, the moon represents emotion. Intuition also, and I'm getting revelations, yes. Things being uncovered, uncovered yes. Things coming to light, yes. But also with this Eight of Wands and communication energy in the Eight of Wands, I'm also getting emotions, communication of emotions here. Now, in terms of this new direction that you're moving in, you may be communicating this to people that are closest to you, revealing what you've been feeling inside. Okay. Just make sure that you're communicating this with people that you really, truly trust. All right? And you're not just running around willy-nilly just throwing your, 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 your plans out there, <laughs> you know, for anybody to come sabotage you. 
I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not trying to threaten you guys or like, or like make it seem like there's someone trying to sabotage you. I'm just saying, you know, just be cognizant of who you're communicating with. That's all. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Leo, you have, oof, the three of swords. Well, this just took a turn. Okay, well, maybe there's a situation in which someone is communicating their feelings, but they're not reciprocal. They're not, it's unquieted. I don't know. It's possible. Um, hmm. Three of Swords is coupled with. Ha, ah, the fool. Okay. So the other thing I was going to say is um, some of you, in what you're communicating about like this new direction that you want to move in, some of you may face some heartbreak from others. Now also what this is saying, the three of swords with the, with the fool here is also speaking to you taking a leap of faith or moving in a direction um, away from heartbreak. But I feel like it's your heart, it's this, it's this heartbreak from the past that is helping you start a new cycle. Which is very similar, again, which is very similar to the Cancer reading. And you see how the Fool is facing this Three of Swords, the way these cards are oriented? Um, it's not, <laughs> no, it's not that you're, you're taking a leap of faith into heartbreak. It is the heartbreak that you've, again, it's the heartbreak that you've experienced that's allowing you to take some sort of leap of faith in a new direction. Start a new cycle. You're getting over some sort of heartbreak also, okay? <laughs> Now also, all right, cool, all right. So yes, for some of you, you could be taking a leap of faith, communicating some sort of, you know, some sort of feelings and maybe it's not reciprocated. Yeah. All right, well, that's not for everybody. That's pretty specific, but take it as it resonates. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Leo, you have, ooh, the King of Swords. Being overly logical, maybe? which is representative of this Eight of Swords energy. Okay. Hmm. Now also, maybe you're needing to embody a little more of this diplomacy that is represented by the King of Swords. Maybe you need to be a little judicial here. <laughs> King of Swords is coupled with Ah, the Ten of Cups. Discernment is what I'm hearing. Dis Spirit is saying discerning. This is very interesting. Okay, so I am seeing a progression. Looking from the, the sun with the Two of Swords here, Something is going, uh, moving into like the moon with the eight of wands. Something is going to be communicated and it could potentially bring somebody out of some sort of heartbreak here. Where there was once heartbreak in the past, now there is a brand new beginning. There is a level of discernment that's needed here, but the challenge is to not be too discerning. If you are in fact in a position where you see some sort of love, um, emotional fulfillment or whatnot is being presented to you and you're feeling it, do not let your mind and your ego sabotage you. Okay? That's what I'm getting with this. Closing message or potential outcome in the, last, in the second half of your reading here, Leo, you have the Ten of Swords. Completions, endings to the heartbreak. There could be someone coming forward towards you that brings an, an, an ending to a period or a cycle of extreme heartbreak. But you are manifesting this, Leo, by doing all of the work, the, all of the internal work that you've been doing in your life. You're absolutely manifesting this. It's not like it's coming out of the blue. It's, becoming out, it's coming as a result 
of the work you've been doing to heal yourself. Ten of Swords is coupled with the Knight of Wands. This could be another Leo. It could be an Aries, but it also could be Sagittarius. Um, I do see the pages and the knights as the mutable energies, and in fire, that would be Sagittarius, okay? Um, there could be a Sagittarian coming forward towards you. I feel like, I do feel, first, I, I, I just, I feel a very passionate offer coming forward. I just heard wanting to make amends. Okay, now that could be someone from your past coming forward wanting to make amends or it could be someone new coming forward into your life that brings some sort of making of amends energy into your life that kind of just like makes everything better changes your com completely changes your life or changes your world with this wheel, wheel of fortune but again i want to stress that if if something like this were to happen the healthiest way for it to happen is for you to just allow it to, line, to align and allow the universe to bring it forward. Not that you're really desiring someone to come in and make everything better for you. That is never good, because that's just codependency. If, that is, if this is going to happen, you need to be working on that internally, okay? You need to have that as an internal basis or an internal foundation so that it can be reflected into your external reality and be healthy, you know? Okay, Leo. Yes. All right, Leo, let's get your closing message, your oracle guidance for your month. From a Leo's sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Now, also keep in mind, guys, that you, this could be vice versa. You could be this individual that is communicating some feelings or is wanting to rush forward or is very passionate about someone. Okay? Take it as it resonates. Place it as it fits. All right, Leo. Let's get your oracle guidance for the month of September. Best message, please, to close out this reading. There it is. Right der. Okay. What have you got, Leo? Card number 26. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. All right. Oh, there it is right there. Boop. All right. Dear Sacred Rebel, this moment in your life requires great courage. Fortunately, you possess that in bucket loads. You are being asked to allow yourself to be lifted out of one level of known reality and into the next level of higher voltage reality. Higher voltage reality requires a more absolute trust and a heart that is surrendered into the greater heart of the universe so that life can happen to us through us and with us more quickly, more radically, more beautifully, and more boldly. You are now being invited into this new reality where things happen quickly and according to bold, loving optimism. This is a reality not only of potential, but of manifestation of the great big cosmic yes. To access this reality, you have to leap from known waters and others may think you are crazy for doing so. You have to leave behind the dark, weighty grip of hesitation, procrastination, second guessing, and the belief you have to do everything on your own. You may fear for your life. How will you be safe in the wild, electrical pulse of so much aliveness? How will you function without the hazy, sleep-induced paralysis of playing it safe, taking too long and placing lesser priorities above your sacred art of life? How will you hold yourself back if you don't hold on to fear? You do not need to worry about such things. Life is wild, but it is also wise. It's a force of, starting, of startling, raw awakening at times, but it is also the natural process of evolution where all things mature according to the seasonal cycle in right timing. You are a part of, not apart from, that process. The invitation to shift gears and jump on board the express train of life will feel exhilarating and perhaps also challenging. 
When you are in the hold of the darkness, you will feel pushed to turn away, to imagine it is all too much, and to create excuses about how your desires aren't grounded enough, that you are being too flighty or flaky, or that you're not living, quote, in the real world. That is fear talking, not truth. If the sacred rebel is not awakened, he will continue to live in a culture drenched in fear and distrust of nature. Those without awakening hearts don't yet understand what nature knows. She knows timing. She knows life and death. She knows the creative process. She just knows and can be trusted to support us, her own creations, in becoming all that we can become. Does this mean that we become passive and just flow along like a limp leaf detached from the tree and blown about randomly by the breeze? No. Being free of the dark, hold, empowers us to take up our cause. This means being free to act and affirm the intuitive feelings we have, been, we have by following up on them. This is painting like someone who has lost their mind, completely free and from, and from the heart. It means writing even though you have no conscious idea of what you are writing, even as the words are streaming forth upon the page before your rather curious eyes. And it means speaking about your work never hiding it away. Allow it to breathe the fresh air and be held in the gaze of another. Detach from the darkness that would say it is not enough or must be the best thing ever, whatever that means, in order to be worthy of a place in the world. Instead, just let it be what it is. It might fly, it might endure, and it might not. All of nature, including you and your passions and dreams, will be what, it is, what is needed, when it is needed, and how it is needed, according to wisdom. We just have to trust in this, within ourselves and within nature herself through the flow of life. And participate. You are asked to go within and imagine diving deep off the edge of what you have known. There is so much more calling to you now. It is your time. Leap. So there you have it, Leo. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of October. Y'all, yeah? take care. Mwah! Bye.